What is going on, Ed? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan and Stratum. And in front of me is our 2019 Kia Sorento. Now this Sorento is gonna be the all wheel drive V6 version with the third row seating. We're just gonna take a quick walk around it. So you can see it has projector style headlights for both low and high beam, nice and bright at night. It also has alloy wheels here, give it a little bit of extra looks. Up here, you can see in the side mirrors that it does have the integrated LED turn signals. And these are also breakaway style mirrors as well. I'm gonna take a look at the back seat here real quick. You can see I folded it down so you can see what it'll look like with the seats down. And over there, I have the cup, excuse me, cup holder armrest down. And then you've got your three seats in this middle row and then two in the back. Back one's down as well right now. We're just gonna take a quick peek in the back so you can see the trunk space. So much, much like pretty much any third row seat SUV, uh, you don't have a ton of trunk space with the third row up, but to help offset that, you do have some storage space underneath. And also your jack tools and jack are all gonna be under here as well. So you get that extra space underneath on that side, all your tools are stored. And you can see here, if you do have the seats down, if you don't necessarily need to use the third row seat at some time, uh, you do have plenty of room back here. So you fit quite a lot of stuff uh, with all this down. We're gonna move on and take a look up at the driver's side. All right, as we move in, you can see you get some nice wood grain style finish on here in the trim. You're gonna have auto uh, windows all around, which is pretty handy. We're gonna get in this car. Getting inside, the seat's really comfortable. It's a cloth, but it feels like a very high traction cloth, uh, much like the seats that we use for Nissan vehicles. Uh, really comfortable to sit in. It has really good support. And overall, I feel very comfortable sitting in this vehicle. Just to show you all your controls here, you're gonna go a whole bunch of controls for like your audio and for your menus up in the middle, for your cruise control, all that. And you can see up there, I zoom in on it, that it's showing you your all wheel drive. What's nice is I found when you put this in drive, it actually shows you the split of how much power is getting sent to where. So that's actually uh, like real time as you're driving, that'll adjust. So it'll, it'll just show you kinda how the power is being split among the wheels on the car. Uh, over here, you're gonna have your automatic headlights. So that's the auto mode. I'm just gonna leave them in off for now. And then you've got all your wiper stuff back here for your front and rear wipers. Moving towards the middle. Uh, this touchscreen, super easy to use, very uh, very few buttons. They're, they're big enough, whereas uh, you know when you're driving, they're not gonna be too distracting to access the different aspects of your car uh, radio unit. It is Bluetooth, so you can hook that right up. If we go in here in the apps, you can see it's kind of grayed out there because they're not plugged in. This is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. So that's an awesome feature. One of the best features for convenience in a car, if you ask me. I think it's an awesome thing to have. Uh, over here, you can have your dual zone climate control. Super easy to use as well. Your fan speed's gonna be down here. Then your um, temperature control is gonna be here and here for the driver and passenger respectively. Down here, this is gonna be a nice sleek looking panel that opens up to reveal. If we get that out of your way, you've got your two 12 volts, aux and USB. So that's gonna be where you plug in to access your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I'm gonna put it back into park, show you here, you get your cup holders, you get your all wheel drive lock and then drive mode. So this drive mode button is gonna change up here see here it says comfort i'm going to press the button now it goes to eco sport and then smart so you have your different drive modes depending on what you're feeling when you get in the car that day so we'll just leave it in smart for now i suppose and then moving over here as well you'll see you get a nice big tray you get the removable one right here and then down there is going to be another usb plug-in uh overall this car has a lot to offer especially being a third row seating SUV. There's not a whole lot of those, but this is really well done in my personal opinion. And I think that there's a lot of value here, has some nice features. The all wheel drive is a, is a huge plus. The V6 engine is a huge plus. So I think it's gonna accomplish a lot if you need a third row seating SUV. If you have any other questions or if there's anything that I missed, feel free to give us a call, 603-580-4598, or come on down, we're at 45 Portsmouth Avenue, Stratum.